Hi, I am Kat. I was born as Kathleen, but my friends changed it to Kat. So I kept it. I'm here to give you news. News from North America. The United States of America. From a human. So human to human, let's have a conversation. Now I have my own business. I'm um, a therapist of some kind, but I'm not going to give it away because I just feel like that's not pertinent here. What I want to talk to you about is the information that I've been able to obtain and it's because I don't have a nine to five job. I've got more time than the average human being on this planet to research. So I have been so curious about this um, new virus that we have and this is the information I have discovered so not to be a conspiracy theorist or anything but to let you all know that there's a considerable about there's a considerable amount of information I think you'll find rather interesting so pull up a chair grab a cup of cuppa <laughs> We're going to do this thing. Now. I'm not going to play a song for you, and I did not make a ditty up about this. Although there is a very funny one out there. And maybe I'll find it and link it below. This is what I found out. It was bioengineered, however, it was done for study, and it is not considered weaponized, although that is a theory out there. There is talk that um, the United States put a spy in there and released it in order to win trade wars which seems sort of underhanded and awful so I don't buy that one um, but then you know that's one of those things I've heard out there as a consideration okay the other one is that um, the princess cruise was certainly a model of what happens and in the if people are forced to stay on a ship with shared air so it spreads through the air it spreads through the air so my understanding is any human being the hot choose uh, it's going it's going to go really far a cough is 6 feet Twenty four uh, days for incubation, so somebody could be so uh, exposed to it, and they will still um, not have any of the symptoms while they walk around breathing and infecting other people. Now, I have a, a client who told me about a friend of theirs in. Hong Kong, who went to Cambodia, and the Cambodian that was on the Princess Cruise affected the Cambodians. So, I would be watching Cambodia to see how they fare. Today is 2-21-2020. Tomorrow it will be 2-22-2020. Um, Lots of twos. So I thought, hey, why don't we take a look at twos and see what that means. And uh, I have my book here, Life Magic. This is news you can use, folks. News that's more fun. This is a great book by Susan Bowes. Quite wonderful. So what she says about number two. <laughs> okay, what else do you want to know? Um, what else do I find out? Alrighty. So a month before... This um, pandemic in China, which could then become a global contagion, um, is the worry. There was a 
meeting and a mock um, emergency with the big top, big top people. So if I can find the, I will find the link. It will be in the notes below. Now this um, channel uh, um, is there's an individual and he's got all the real skinny. I'm just a human being giving you information in a way that's very informal because I'm just a regular Jane named Cat. I'm not a journalist. And yes, I'm writing, but writing gets very lonely, and then I like to talk to something. And so I've created this channel as an outlet. <laughs> Even though I work with people as their therapist, I'm not, I don't talk about my stuff. You do a lot of listening. I'm not a head shrink. I'm a beauty therapist. And I, I do singing bowls. And I'm into crystal therapy. And somehow I make a living at it. It's amazing. It's amazing what you can do in America. Um, given that we are still, we still have a middle class, and I still have a um, clientele base that can afford my prices. And I have a clientele base that's not dead. <laughs> they're, they're alive and well, and I do my best to keep them that way. Okay, should we be afraid? Well, um, fear is not what you want to feel. Okay, this, this is a bioengineered disease. It's like SARS, sudden uh, affected respiratory syndrome or something where like the, the lungs are affected. This turns into pneumonia is a respiratory thing. And it, it also can cause organ failure. So it's pretty nasty. And why would anybody want to make a disease um, like this is beyond my comprehension. Like, why would somebody want to see what could possibly be used to wipe out people other than to wipe out people? So why would you even meddle with it in the first place is the question, isn't it? But the news I found out from this guy who I'm going to put his link down below and his channel, he is very good as a journalist. And no, I don't remember his name, but I'll put it in the notes. Um, he spoke with a man living in China who is married to a Chinese woman. So he lives there. And what he said is people are confined to their homes and that the one thing he wished that he had done was have procured more water. He wanted more of a stockpile than he had. There wasn't enough of one. So that's the sort of thing you want to consider if in the event we have a pandemic here in the United States of America, uh, however, on the Princess Cruise, the Americans were taken off wisely. And that British couple <laughs> that stayed on, they were like made the news and stuff, uh, they got infected. I don't know what's going down with them um, at all. Uh, what I do know is that if anybody were watching the Princess Cruise people and wondering what was going to happen, they found out that everybody would become infected. Now, I don't know if it's true if everybody became infected or not. All I know is I've never gone on a cruise, I never want to go on a cruise, and I will never ever go on a cruise. And I consider that an accomplishment in life. I've never gone on a cruise. Now, there are people that love cruises. Well, this news station isn't about cruises. It's about talking to you, real human to human, about what it is that is going on. And I don't have a television set, so I find out my information by going online. We're going to have a rearranged hair break. So you can go ahead and go to the bathroom. This is um, day three of not washing my hair. Because um, washing your hair every day just plain isn't good for it. But it makes it so you get colicky. A little colicky. Here and there. A little bit of hairs that just like don't do what you want them to do. And then you go, okay, let's work with it. Let's work with it. I kind of like this look. What do you think? Like it? I do. Okay, still. All right. <laughs> 
this was a news station we have a commercial break so commercial break while I rearrange my hair <sighs> I'm gonna have a beer here The last thing I thought I was ever going to do was talk about a disease. I didn't have a television set for years, and I remember my sister, the evil one, who I don't talk to anymore. She's not really evil. She's just a, a dark cloud on a sunny day. She'll rain on your parade. She's negative Nancy. She's not happy for anybody but herself. And she's very bitchy. <laughs> I'll tell you about that time when... Uh, it's, it's like, I'm going to talk about coronavirus. Okay, so she was like all worried about the Averin flu when it came around, I guess birds. Meanwhile, I'm feeding birds. I live in an area where I'm attracting them. I love birds. I love seeing birds. So I put up a bird feeder, a little, I put up a little box where I put the little suet biscuit, and I've got like nut, hat, nut hatchers, doves, um, wrens, and a mockingbird who's decided to claim the territory. And it, he or she, puffs itself up and scares all the other birds away and goes after them. Have you ever seen the size of a mockingbird's beak? That thing's lethal for other birds. And it hides in the bushes and it ambushes other birds as they try to get things. So I spread bird seed far and wide onto the ground so that it couldn't possibly cover the entire territory. So here we are, February 21st, oh my god, 2020. And the news that you can use is that the coronavirus is a real thing. It's extremely um, contagious. And in the event it comes to a neighborhood near you, you want to make sure you have stockpiles. And the number one thing, have snacks, have beer, have wine, have, um, but you know, alcohol and things in excess can deplete your immune system, and you don't really want that comp compromised right now, so be careful. This is what my f client said, her friend said, about what he found out in Hong, Hong Kong, that the elderly are the ones, majority of them, that are dying and dead, because their systems just can't handle it. Um, there, the other fact is that they're not going in panic. They're not panicking. There's not this big, huge riot panic happening. But there were student age pro pro protests because students are the ones, the, the young bloods are the ones. Like Remember Tiananmen Square? Tiananmen Square? Students tend to be the ones that create protests. And Hong Kong apparently was under British rule, but then it's now back to Chinese. And the Hong Kongese people don't like the Chinese rule because they have less freedoms. They have more freedoms under British rule. According to my understanding, I haven't done any history. I'm not a journalist. I'm not a researcher. This is just plain news. This is me talking to you. This is cat chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Hong... Uh, they're not panicking, and a lot of them don't have information. They actually don't have access to the Internet, so they don't know what's going on. The pictures and stuff that we get, it's sort of like this. Okay. The pictures that we get could be isolated incidents. We don't know how bad it is. It's pretty bad. Um, what I saw also from somebody who is on the Internet, <laughs> I made that face. It's on the Internet. It has to be true. No. There's misinformation and disinformation. That ought to be acknowledged. I think we all know that by now. I remember, uh, it was so funny I, when I was a kid. It's like, you, I thought that things would be true if they were in a legitimate place. So people, you have to use discretion. And you have to screen everything. And you have to not go into the fear. Fear dries up cortisol levels. You need to be enjoying your life. Get outside, get out into nature, sun gaze, grow a garden, start a garden in a pot on your patio. 
You can do indoor gardening. There's so many different ways you can actually grow food. Get a sprout jar. Go to mountainroseherbs.com. Get sprouting seeds. You know, mountainroseherbs.com. And get yourself some sprouts. Start sprouting. Do something for yourself. Creative. Create. Create for the sake of creating. Paint a picture. Draw something. Woo! Yeah, these are the drawings I've done. These were back in 97. And I was, I was hit with a really creative wave. I was in love with my um, new love who I married and then subsequently divorced because little did I know he was a narcissist. But we're not going to make this about narcissism, okay? Um, but narcissism is a disease of the mind and it's a lot like um, a parasitic uh, archontic infection, if you will, that started off in men and it now has moved to women. <laughs> my, my pretend husband, he actually asked me if I was a, a narcissist. And I said, well, I love myself, but I don't have NPD. I don't have narcissistic personality disorder. I actually love being by myself. I do. I, 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 I tune into what's going on in my brain. I enjoy my thoughts. And I know my limitations. <laughs> I know I'm smart and intelligent. And I also know that the physical body and its limitations can actually affect your emotions. You got something wrong with your heart? You're easier, you, you, you get angry easily. <laughs> and I have a lot of respect for the Chinese. Um, I lived with a Chinese woman, not with her, but she rented a room. I needed to rent a room for a couple of months while I was having my, um, my house um, completely 100% redone. Um, yeah, aren't I lucky? Yeah, that I could actually do that. I could actually have my house completely redone and like move in with a Chinese person. Uh, and then the, the other person that was a roommate, a housemate, was this English teacher. But we had kitchen privileges but we were basically renting rooms from a Chinese woman. And she had her um, friends over. And they were noisy eaters. Um, they picked up their bowls and they scooped the rice out in their mouths. And I thought to myself, how barbaric. The Japanese would never approve. There's a distinct difference between a Japanese person and a, a Chinese person. And I think that... You would insult a Japanese person if you could mistake them for Chinese. I know it's hard to tell the difference if you're if you're Caucasian and you don't get out much. <laughs> Funny thing is, I had this black guy say to me once, he's like, You white chicks, you looked all that you all look the same. And I laughed, I laughed. I thought that was the funniest thing. Us white chicks all look the same, huh? <laughs> that was funny. That was that was that was hilarious to me. <laughs> I grew up in New Hampshire. We had one black family. Dr. Darby and Shana um went to Dartmouth. So like they weren't exactly your average black family living in the ghetto. <laughs> they, they spoke more eloquent English than I did. Just kidding. My mother always spoke to me with um a come up and she would say, enunciate, enunciate. And then she would say, <laughs> oh my God, my mother, God love her. All right, here she is with my dad. This is after they had had Bailey's Irish cream. <laughs> and, and then we went riding bikes and my mother was tanked. I'm trying to get the out, get the glare out. Okay, there we go. So, aren't they great? I love my parents. They're still alive. They're in their 80s and counting. Everything's working in their bodies, man. Mwah, mwah. Love you, Dad. Love you, Mom. 
Yeah, they dis they discovered a Bailey's Irish cream for the first time, and then you know what they did? <laughs> they they brought it into the house from their from their rental car, and um, they kept putting it into their coffee. Like this is the best creamer ever. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you're drinking a cordialist alcohol. Oh no, it's flavoring. So there they are subsequently. Oh, aren't they wonderful? I love my parents. Likewise. Yeah, and I've got wonderful kids. So I, I, they're all, like, they're going to be 30 or something. Soon. <laughs> my daughter's 30. My son's 29 and a half. Yeah, she's going to be 31 this year. And he is going to be... 30. Yeah. Imagine that. I had them both by that time. Yeah. 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 I had them both at that time. Oh my goodness. I was 27 when I gave birth to my son. Now people are having babies at in, in their 40s. Ha! Huh, okay. What does number two mean? All right. We're in the month of two. Two symbolizes differentiation and is associated with the moon. Now our moon is waning and we're in Kali. Kali is the killer. <laughs> we're in a Kali period. We're in a great culling. I'm not wishing anybody dead, okay? Um... I, I listen to New Earth, um, Sylvie. She's very interesting. And she goes into the um, astral plane. And she came back with some information that was rather interesting, and I'll share it with you. Her take on the coronavirus is not to worry. Not to worry. Not to worry. And I'll link her, too. Just... She's a little gossip about it. She plug, she puts a little information out there. I trust her because she's like I am, a human being, only she's very intelligent. She speaks more than one language. I speak English. And um, she travels all over the world. She's She also suggests that America has megaliths that of course, predate Christopher Columbus, like in, was it 1462, Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue, or something like that. The, the Santa Maria and the Pina Colada, I mean, whatever, the Pinta, <laughs> you know, we remember, everybody remember, he had to memorize all this stuff. Like, I remember Ponce de Leon, because he discovered Florida. The land of beautiful flowers. Ponce de Leon. It's like, you know, the Spain, Spain was a major, major um, powerhouse. And they uh, sent uh, merchants out to the New World, meaning the Americas, North America, Central America, and South America. Amerigo Vespucci and all of that. And they... Um, we're doing that to get gold. That's all I know. Gold. Yep. So don't worry about this thing, but take precautions. I mean, it also, it, it comes through the eyes. The, the, the first physician that died was a eye doctor of some kind. I'm not sure what they're called technically. The, the eyes disease kind. Not the kind that tells you that you need a new prescription and checks your eyesight. No, not that kind. So let's read about two some more. Um, the number is represented by an angle illustrating the descent or fall into matter. So human beings are spirits, spiritual. Our physical bodies are contained within our spirit body. 
because our light body actually extends out. Excuse me, at the burp, beer. <coughs> our light bodies actually extend out past. By the way, burping in China is considered a compliment. <laughs> and don't you clean your plate because that means you, you, you need more food. So there's different etiquette levels. <laughs> burping was okay. Eating loudly and smacking your lips is okay. Because that means you're enjoying your food, and that's a compliment to the chef. Whereas, in America, if you make too much noise eating, it's like frowned upon. I personally don't like noisy eaters. I don't like them at all. They bother me. And not, I just haven't been around any of them for such a long time. I can't recall, I can't give you any, you know, quips or quotes. Did I show the, show the picture? Here's a symbol. You can read about one there if you take a screenshot. So it's a symbol um, for the female principle, the goddess. We talked about Kali. She's on shift right now. If you pl practice planetary tantra, that's the only thing I'm interested in. I no longer do this thing. I don't. I like this symbol, but it looks too much like I'm inside the dragon's body. <laughs> so, so like, unless I, I, it's a terma, I understand the terma, I understand JAL, I understand it, but it's not ringing true to me anymore. I'm more interested in this other woman here that talks about folk uh, history, and it's um, Caroline Emmerich. Um, her. On this channel. Because she talks about folk faith and she talks about um, paganism, and I've discovered that I can relate more to being a pagan than I can to be anything else. I understand because my DNA has awakened, and it's like, why were all of our celebrations taken away from us? Why were they? Why were we? Why were we burnt at the stake? Like I've gotten through a lot of like trauma, including hanging. When you clean out your um, past life trauma, you actually have access to the past life gold. The stuff that's really interesting. I'm, the type, of, the type of woman I am, nurturing, caregiving, healer, herbalist. I most likely have always been that and will continue to be that. Every psychic human being who's ever worked with me, met me, is like, oh, you're a healer. It's like, yes, my very presence is as a healer. Which is why I can look at you and I can say, please do not freak out over this virus. Do not freak out. The other conspiracy theory or the fear or the conjecture and conversation is that mandatory vaccinations may become a thing. Don't worry about it until it happens. It's not going to happen. And if it does, my bad. So let's see here. This symbol is for the female principle, the goddess, the unconscious. It represents the duality of humanity and the divine, the spirit and the flesh. It is a sign of marriage, motherhood, and childbirth. It also symbolizes mystery, occult matters, and money. Magically, the number two and its symbol represent the emotions, harmony, cooperation, and wealth. By discovering the law of two that operates all around us, we can unify our lives. I'm about to unify my body with my guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. My pretend husband. I finally, oh. Okay, let me go get the ring. I have to show you this. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. See? 
I am his and he is mine. With these hands, I crown you with my love. Now, corona means crown because that silly disease that looks like a, got a crown. So it's like all spiky. And I call this actually actually the um, the bomb diggity of bomb diggity. The king, the king, SARS on steroids. This is like the worst. So basically, keep aware because at the very same time, um, you human are able to accelerate your consciousness by closing your eyes and tuning in. Okay, this disease gets to you through the eyes? Well, why don't you close your eyes and go within? Meditation, anybody? So, don't freak out. Don't freak out. If you only had X amount of days to live, what would you do with those days? I'm not telling you to give up your job and cash in everything. I'm not saying that. I'm suggesting you start living. You know? Like in that movie, The Shawshank, Shawshank Redemption, you know that movie that the guy goes to jail unfairly and he suffers a lot of indecency. Robbins, Tim Robbins. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. He says, you get busy living or you get busy dying. So get busy living, my friends. Get busy living. So this is news I hope you can use from a white chicken America in the United States of America. And may you all fare well. Okay, next time.